Uh, Neil, a uh, frustrating one this evening. Plenty of chances, but uh, just couldn't take them. Yeah, it's football, isn't it? Um, I thought there were spells in the games we needed to get a grips with. You know, like I said, they played a system well, and we, you know, we were a little bit unsure of who was pressing where, even though we worked on it. But I thought, by and large, it was an open, entertaining game, and we probably you know, we could have had two in the first eight minutes, I think, and then we've probably had three or four great chances. They've had two or three. Um, but you know, it's a game. You sort of worst case of draws, probably one of them. You go, okay, that was both teams had a go, but we've let ourselves down to a set piece. And as a manager, as I always say, that's the frustrating thing. You know, you need players to do their jobs in the box, and their margins have cost us tonight. Yeah, I thought when it went in, the fact that it was a concession from a set piece that it would wrangle you in particular. Um, what have you said to your players in there? I just said we've we've lost four games this season, and three of them were to set pieces. So, um, you know, there's. As a manager, you look at the things you can affect. I can affect set pieces, we work on them, but I can't actually win headers for players. And that's what I just said to them, you know, we set up, we try and put the right markers on the right players um, physically. And then, you know, like they did on Saturday, the players did their jobs today. Tonight, we switched off once and it's, it's cost us. And in this league, it can. They pressed and they pressed and, and they had plenty of high energy about them. How comfortable are your players dealing with the press? Well. Yeah, they did press us. Um, I thought in the first half the ball was a bit of a hot potato for us, which isn't like us. We, you know, even players who normally settle us down didn't. Um, we turned the ball over far too many times. Second half, miles better. Passed the ball, miles better, and caused them problems. But even in the first half, we had a plan. We was quite attacking. We said there'll be times we want to play free up against their back three. Um, we needed to get it right without the ball and we got in, you know, Tom Walker got in loads down this side, Enzio got in a couple of times the other side and we, we felt like if we got 3v3, we could cause them problems and we could have been two up in that, like we say, in that first eight minutes. Then we lost our way a little bit, um, second half miles better. And like I say, I felt other than maybe a 10 minute spell, five minute spell in the second half where we got it wrong down the left hand side. I felt like, you know, we was the team on the front foot and looking to make things happen. And one goal has killed us. It seemed like a, a noisy technical area this evening, was it? It seemed like there was plenty of discussion between you and, and, and your opposite number. <laughs> Um, no, I, I know Luke well. Luke's noisy every game. He's always <laughs> noisy. I, I was frustrated in the first half because I didn't think we passed the ball well enough. Um, we, you know, the, there's a difference between passing the ball, not passing the ball through, you know, the odd bobble or lack of quality or pitch, and a little bit of fear and, you know, not brave enough and not composed enough. And I thought we wasn't composed enough with him without the ball first half. But even then, we could have had two or three chances, two or three goals. Um, second half miles better, and I thought. We was more in control other than a five minute spell in the second half. I thought we was in control of the game and like I say, it's it's not tactical, it's not lack of attacking prowess. It was an open game, we went for it, we tried to win. We've cost ourselves on a set piece. Um, did you have a little shimmy about with the, the, the formation at times this evening and are you finding that one in particular is more comfortable and works better for you more often than not? Uh, it's not so much that. We had we had a lot of tired bodies from Wednesday, Saturday. Um, and you know, I had to make a judgment call on one or two that looked really, really tired on Saturday. Um, and we did that and we tried to freshen it up and we had a game plan. Um, and it worked several times when we had our chances. A couple of times out of possession it didn't. So not fussed about, I don't think systems, are, their system didn't beat us today, a set piece beat us. And I think when you look back and when I get the fair score back from the owners and we analyse it, it's, it's a game we probably deserve to win. Um, there are some players out there, and very few of them now, outfield players, because Slocum is one of them, but he's in, in net, that have played every minute this season. Reeves uh, is one, and, and Doyle the other, and Wootton's played a lot of football as well. Um, how do you, how do they keep going, first of all? And, 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 and they don't need the, re, the rotation, whereas others do. Well, it's not a case that they don't need the rotation. It's a case of that we haven't got many players that can do what they do, as good as them. So... You know, in all fairness, the, that's the that's the truth of it. You know, I'm not criticising, uh, you know, Luke Peeling or anything like that. Sam Slocum's been excellent. He doesn't really need to be changed. Um, and I think, you know, Connell's been excellent. Doyle and Reeves, he, most games, know their jobs and do them really, really well. And at the moment, you know, it's not a case of just rotating in and out for the fun of it. It's That's the spine of the team. And then the players in and around it can bring that fresh energy. And plus, people like Reeves and Doyle particularly have done Saturday, Tuesdays regularly throughout their career. Their bodies are used to it. Um, you know, they, they get less fatigued despite Doyle's age. They get less fatigued than players that aren't used to it. You mentioned his age this time, not me, which makes a change. Um, how do you make sure that... 
this doesn't disrupt any momentum and that they can get straight back on the horse again at, at, at Yeovil. And last I checked, Yeovil were winning this mm. evening at Bromley. But we can't make sure of it. It's all I can do is affect the spirit in the camp and you're going to lose games of football. You know, I don't care whether we're Notts County in the National League, you're going to lose games of football sometimes. And today it's analysing why we lost one set piece. Other than that, I thought the performance by and large wasn't, you know, wasn't bad. Um, you know, we, we did enough to win the game, I thought. Um, and, uh, you know, we just, Yeovil are a strong team, Stockport are a strong team. So our next two games in particular are tough. So all I can do is focus on getting the lads back, keeping their spirits up, trying to get them in a position mentally to bounce back and put in a good performance on Saturday. And that's, that's it for me, you know, sort of pick, pick the team and make sure they're aware of the opposition and uh, the players will do the rest. And the last thing I need to do is start ripping into them because they've lost one game in six. Uh, Lacey back on the bench this evening. Uh, any thoughts that you could have a, a Wes Thomas back by the weekend as well? They're all back training now, so it's just about them, their attitude all training, their work ethic and seeing whether they're showing the right signs to, to get back and push in this team. Because if you're going to leave somebody out, you know, you, the, the player needs to be at it who wants to get in the team and you've got to look around the team and say who's not performing to be left out. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers now.